Anti-Islam protesters in Arizona are holding a Draw the Prophet Muhammad contest today directly outside a mosque. Get this, it's the same mosque attended by two gunmen who attacked a similar event in Garland, Texas earlier this month. The group putting on today's event says it's a freedom of speech rally. The event organizer says he wants to expose what he says is the truth about Islam. People call him an extremist. To me, it's just a Muslim following their book as it's written. These are the measures that we have to take to expose the true colors of this religion. Unfortunately, we have to hold a cartoon contest, as silly as it sounds, to be able to show the true colors of Islam. Here in America, we have the freedom of speech, and it's, it is under attack from Islam. Religious leaders are encouraging worshipers to attend today's prayer services as usual. The Council on American Islamic Relations is speaking out against the protest during a press conference at 2 o'clock Eastern Time. We're joined now by Homeland Security correspondent Jeff Pegues. Jeff, what do we know about this group organizing today's rally? Well, it's led by the man that you had in that clip there. He's a former Marine who, as he said in the soundbite, feels like uh, freedom of speech is under attack by Islam. And so he's set up this protest, and he's done others since Garland, uh, Texas, the attack there. Uh, and he's trying to make a point. He says that he's not trying to stir up trouble. But that is, of course, what many in that community are concerned about, that this is a protest that will do exactly that, stir up trouble. Uh, the two men who tried to attack the event in Garland, Texas, three weeks ago worshipped at this particular mosque where the rally is being held today. Why does the group say it's not enough that the mosque condemned that attack? Well, the man who's leading it believes that uh, there is a radical ideology within Islam, and that's what he's trying to express in uh, what are, uh, by many accounts, very offensive terms. Uh, so, of course, I won't repeat that. But he's trying to, to, to make a point here, and he says this is about freedom of speech and to just condemn the attacks is, is just not enough. And so that's why he has said numerous times that he's organizing this event, one of many that he's done. And Jeff, how is local law enforcement handling the rally today? Well, the challenge for law enforcement is trying to anticipate what may happen, that there may be some sort of uh, backlash, may be some sort of attack. And, and that, of course, goes to the lessons learned from Garland, Texas, when Elton Simpson, uh, Nador uh, Sufi, uh, tried and failed uh, in an attack on that event. Uh, this is about uh, law enforcement sharing the information that they have. And that's why, uh, of course, Phoenix uh, police are taking the lead here. Uh, but they're also working with the FBI. And what we learned from uh, the Garland, Texas attack is that they have a list of people who, who may be interested in events like these. And they go down that list and make sure that they have the information that they need uh, to prevent any type of what they call unlawful activities. So that's what you have right now. There is this, this coordination between federal and local law enforcement, as well as monitoring social media. Uh, that's what they are doing right now, trying to anticipate what may happen at this event. All right, Jeff Pegues in Washington, thank you.